And while I have a lot of energy, no one has more energy than the whole. Okay, as we hear from McGee Hickey, we're going to go to Dave Roush, who's with the crowd polling. After uh, we heard from Mo Rocca polling people from all over, where did you find uh, some people now, Dave? Catherine, we have some very special guests with us here that have been milling around the crowd, but they weren't just milling around the crowd all day. This group that I'm with right now, it's a Christian rock band. They go by the name of Full Armor. And get this, they were the first band to take the stage this morning. That is no short order for a rock group. What was that like? That was like the pressure of the whole event on us. At least that's how it felt for us. Um, it was pretty nerve wracking. Good. Take a step in closer here. So tell us a little bit about your band and, and when you got started and where you're from. Uh, our band's name is uh, Full Armor, as you just said. We're from Middletown, New York, and uh, we just started playing a church uh, a couple years ago doing modern contemporary music at a Catholic church, and from there we just kind of started recording CDs and traveling, doing concerts, and this was obviously the ultimate concert. So, you know, I, I, ha I have to ask you, you know, when you first got the phone call that said, you know, we want you to play at the youth rally for the Pope, I mean, what was your reaction to that? Well, Doug called me, and I think we screamed for five minutes, probably. And then I called my mom, and I told my mom, <laughs> and she screamed. I was going to say, how did she react? Oh, yeah, she screamed. My parents have been real nice to me lately. I don't know. <laughs> how does a group, how, as a group, how do you get ready for a performance of this magnitude? Just practice, 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 and just psych yourself into it, I guess. I mean, we've been practicing nonstop for the last three days or so, just, you know, hours on end, and just, you know, really getting excited about it, because it's the momentum and the, you know, the energy that really gets you through it and gets you excited about it. And give us some sort of sense, what's going through your mind 30 seconds before you take the stage before a sea full of people? Don't let me screw up, please. God, no, not here. <laughs> And how did the performance go? I, I think it was great. I mean, what do you guys think? Crowd, crowd loved it. I mean, everyone was into it. It was great. It was great. How much of the energy, or how important is the energy of the crowd in, in helping you get through that kind of a set? That's that's definitely very important. I mean, everyone feeds off of the crowd, and the crowd was great. They were feeding off us. We were feeding off them. Is and and I understand that that the, this is probably the largest venue you've ever ever played. How does this compare to the other shows you normally do? Um, what was the biggest show we had before this? Maybe maybe about 300 at our CD release concert. And the, uh, we did play that Renew. We played for uh, the charity Renew. That was maybe about 600 people. So. so they all shy in comparison to what you've done today? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, you're all young people obviously, and, and young people are really the target of today's event. You know, what does it mean to you to live your faith? I live my faith. Kyle? Give it a shot. All right, I'll give it a shot. Uh, the name of our al first album is Against the Flow, and I think that just sums it up right there. You know, uh, living a life that isn't necessarily popular and um, um, what goes along with what the world says, you know, going against the flow. Uh, that's, that's it right there. Is there anything in particular that you're really looking forward to hearing the Holy Father talk about today? You know, I'm just excited to hear him address a crowd of so many young uh, Catholics. It's really exciting to see uh, so many people uh, like us, you know, young kids that want to, you know, be here and uh, experience this, you know. Sometimes it feels like we're the only ones out there that are into this kind of thing, and it's nice to see that that's not necessarily true. Some people would call this, and a lot of people have been calling this, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. What do you make of that? I'd say that's about right. <laughs> you think you'll be telling your kids about this someday in the future? That's what I tell everybody, yeah. We're going to tell... Tell the kids, tell the grandkids. So, you know, I wanna, I wanna get a sense that you say this, the first time you played a crowd this big, you know, as you're milling around the crowd, do you, do you have that kind of celebrity feel as far as people saw you on stage and now you're walking amongst the crowd? What's that like? I mean, we, uh, we got to go in the green room, they called it, and uh, after we performed, there was, you know, a little table with food for us, and, you know, we felt very, uh, you know, it was kind of an ego boost. But yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's confidence. It helps us uh, with our uh, confidence, definitely. Well, congratulations on, on a great performance and a great day. Catherine, again, Full Armor, a Christian rock group, the very first band to take the stage here at the uh, St. Joseph Seminary. Thanks, Dave. What a, what a thrill for them to be able to take the stage for the Pope right now. We're looking to see what's on stage right now at St. Joseph's Seminary, the pre-concert. Pope Benedict XVI.